Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow. Today we're gonna go over a really fun way that you can give your dog a workout and have fun training them at the same time. Click thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. Now let's hear from Trevor and his dog, Daisy. Hi, my name's Trevor Smith. I'm with the Doggy Dojo and my dog's name is Daisy. Daisy is an eight-year-old Border Collie. I've been training dogs since I was six years old and I started with Daisy about three years ago. And we are going to show you guys some fun agility today. Dog agility is a really fun dog sport that you get to lead your dog through a series of obstacles like jumps, tunnels, weaves, and more. Daisy and me have worked a long time getting her master's standard title in agility, which is the highest level of agility in American Kennel Club. Today is gonna to be really fun because we get to show you a few obstacles that you can even play in your own backyard. Zach, I hope you're ready because Daisy's about to show you some awesome agility skills. Dog agility is a fantastic way to bond with your dog. I mean, lots of dogs love running around, but we can all agree that it's no fun running around town to try to find the right dog food and get your dog's food automatically delivered from PetFlow. Just choose your dog's food and how often you want it delivered. Enter code ZAC30 when you check out and you'll get $10 off your first three orders. I'll have all the details in the description below. Agility is one of those things you can do for fun in your backyard or you can compete, but it's also a great trust building exercise. What's the first thing you want to show us today? Well, we're probably going to go with one of the more difficult items first, which is the weave poles. I think weave poles are one of the most impressive obstacles in all of dog agility. Weave, good girl. Weave, Look weave, at weave, her weave, go. Weave, weave. Oh, nice. Look at her. There's actually a correct way and wrong way to send them in. They always have to enter with their left shoulder. How do you typically reward her and motivate her to want to do something like this? So a lot of agility dogs do very well on toys because it does tap into that play which is what they're doing with you out on the field is playing with you. So I got Daisy a little squeaky tennis ball. Go, 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 go. Oh, look how fast she there is. There you go, That's yeah. amazing. Get Daisy, weave. All good right, girl. nice good work. Job. And you can see she's so motivated to play. <laughs> Looks like you're having a good time too, Trevor. Yes, I am. It's a blast to do agility. How did you go about teaching this to her? One really cool way to teach it is oh. called channel ways. You can actually make a little channel here. What actually sometimes people will even do is have their dog sit, stay on one side and then call them to the other or you lure them through, but you just take a treat and you lure them all the way through oh, like look at that. that. But see how easy that was for her to do? So as she gets better at it, you actually squeeze them closer and closer together until they're back to oh, a straight line. Wow, clever. We've, there we go, good look job. That. And that's what you want. You don't want them just to kind of meander through slowly like this. You kind of want them to slalom all the way through the weed poles. This is such a great skill to teach because skills like this really help to build serious mental focus. Daisy is a total pro. So next we've got the tunnel. I mean, this is a staple in dog agility. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. back the other way. Good girl. Pretty good. Very nice. Now this one actually looks pretty easy, but when yeah. you first start to teach this to many dogs, they find it to be quite intimidating. Has that been your experience? Yeah, for some dogs it can be quite scary because it's dark. And then other dogs, they just love it so much. And sometimes you get what's called tunnel suck. and the dog will accidentally go off course into a tunnel because it's a really fun obstacle for dogs to do. <laughs> Why don't you show us how you went about teaching yeah. this to Daisy? As a beginner, you want to go and stretch it out to a straight line so that they can see you on the other side. So you would have your friend take your dog over onto this side. It's important when you're teaching this not to block the end of the tunnel. So don't sit right in front of the tunnel, but off to the side and then just peek your head in and call your dog. Daisy! Yay, good girl! <laughs> And it's a lot easier to call them to you than it is to send them away from you. Having your dog come to you makes it as easy as possible. Because whenever you're teaching anything new to your dog, you want to make it as easy as possible in the beginning. Sometimes you may have to make it a little shorter at first and then lengthen it over time. As your dog gets to know it better and better, you'll call it tunnel. And then you can actually come onto this side over here, Daisy, and just tell them tunnel and then run next to them and then praise them. Good job. So now that we got it straight, it's time to curve it. So the reason that you want to curve it slowly is so that you're, if, if they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, right, exactly. it can be really kind of daunting. hard for them to understand. We're going to start on the curve side over here. Daisy, ready? Tunnel. And then, yay! And once they get really good at that <laughs> side being curved, then you curve the other side. And now you kind of got like a noodle shape now. And you always want to run on the inside of the curve. That way you can beat your dog to the other side. Tunnel. Yay, good Yeah, they're job. much faster than we are, aren't Yes, they? they are. In the beginning stages, you may want to use like a tennis ball again or a treat and reward them on the other side. And you can, with the tennis ball, you can easily toss, tunnel, the ball. There it the is. Side. She's having yeah. such a great time right now. And that's the critical part about when you start teaching these obstacles. Don't be afraid to reward them a ton when you're first teaching them because then it builds value for the obstacle itself. I love seizing opportunities like this to build trust with a dog. And clearly you guys yeah. have an incredible amount of mutual trust in one another. Dog sports are a great way to build confidence with a lot of dogs. Fewer things are as exciting as watching a dog get some big air. Woo, yeah, good job. Excellent. <laughs> it looks a lot easier. I mean, teaching them to not 
touch the bar. I mean, that's tough. That is tough. It's important to have a bar that can get knocked down too. Safety is always the most important thing with anything we do with our dogs, yes. but especially with dog sports. So when they jump over, you really don't want them doing what's called a bunny hop, where they just stay, they go from a standstill and pop over. You want to take a nice little coast, kind of like a gazelle just leaping over the jump. Why don't you show us how you went about teaching this with her? Yeah. And then you're going to show us how all of this looks when you put it together. We'll just put it on eight inches for Daisy down here. What we'll do is we'll get Daisy's favorite toy here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the other side of the jump. Really far out. What you want to make sure to do is whatever your dog's body length is, you want two of those so the dog can jump, finish, and then get the toy. There <laughs> it is. And of course, when your dog jumps over this low hurdle for the first time, you celebrate like they just cleared a six foot jump. When you're having fun, your dog is gonna have fun too. And anytime your dog kind of goes up to here and kind of stutter steps or is having difficulty with it, yep. just put it back down to another level. You can turn your dog off to an obstacle real quick you if, can. They're, if they're not having a great experience. You can actually toss the, the toy over the jump. <laughs> oh, and see, that's the other up. thing. She'll cheat sometimes, huh? <laughs> There yeah. we go. Oh, Ooh. there we go. And that's why it's so important to have a jump that falls down. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, hey, that's there we it. Go. Good, Good job. Camera. Once your dog has learned how to do it straight on, you can actually start teaching him how to jump it at an angle with the figure eight exercise. Daisy, hop. Here, come here. Hop. Oh, look at this, Good guys. Oh, that's impressive. Good girl. Yes, scary. What a smart girl. That is terrific. And now we're going to set up our own version of a mini agility course and see what Daisy can do. Dump. Here ah. we, 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 go, 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 Yes. Here, tunnel. Oh, nice. She took Ready? that one at an angle. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Tunnel. Whoa. Oh, hop. Here we, 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 go, 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 go. Be sure to check out Trevor's YouTube channel. He's got some really great content over there. I'll have a link in the description. And have your dog food automatically shipped to you from Petlo. That link will also be in the description. If you like what we're doing, you can support us on Patreon. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see all of our future videos. If you want the best dog training experience possible, pick up a copy of my book too. That was awesome. Trevor, you did so great today. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video.